Hello friends, Kishan is here again and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial we are going to talk about the Java 8 stream API and basically that performs mapping. So to convert elements of a stream by applying a special function to them and to collect these new elements into a stream. We can use to achieve this functionality uh, there are two methods map or flat map methods so here is the eclipse and let's go to eclipse and create a demo projects and we'll try to understand these two api so if go if you go to the stream class then there is a method is called flat map and another method is called map so basically we are going to look into these two api how these two api works so let's create a java project I would say uh, project name is mapping stream API test and here is the project I have created let's create a class in package com dot infotech and I'm going to create a client program client test with main method first of all I'm going to create a list of string which will hold suppose URIs equal to new array list press control shift o for organizing port in URIs, I'm going to add few URI or you can say path like C colon slash slash my file one dot txt something like this. Similarly, we can add some more elements. T my file two and C my file three something like this. Now on this URIs we can make call a stream API right. So we have a stream method. Then we can have a, we can call map. And here we can we can make use of lambda expression. So URI and lambda expression here we can make use of paths is one of the class and which has a get method and there you can pass this URI right and this API will return you the path of stream right as a map so here you can apply for each loop and here you can pass system dot out colon colon print ln so here basically you are passing the consumer object and which will display all paths right so this is the one of the things I wanted to explain next thing I'm going to explain you suppose you have a class separate class is called detail so I'm going to write a class within this source code order you can write a separate class as well so let's create a separate class so class name I'm going to specify detail detail and this class have some property like private int detail ID and this will contain some list of a string uh, named as parts press control shift o for organizing port and I'm going to initialize this property using const constructor 
so let's make a constructor and finally I'm going to create a getter for these two properties select getters now client program I'm going to create a list with detail object detail and I would say details equal to new array list so basically this code I have to explain so let me explain this code so basically here you can see the code converts the code converts uh, a stream a stream of a string to a, a stream of paths right so this is a stream of a string to a stream of paths uh, by applying the specific lambda expression to every elements of the initial stream right so that's all about this coding now I, what I'm going to uh, code that I'll explain you later now we have a list of detail now list of detail I'm going to add some elements so here I'm going to create a detail object detail add detail 1 equal to new detail and here we are going to pass id 1001 and parts is nothing but list of a string right which is the inner properties of detail now I'd say parts sorry parts 1 equal to new array list I would add parts dot add part underscore one. Similarly, we can add more part two, three, and similarly, we can create another array list like. this is another list and here I'm going to add in this list one more part part 4 now here part 1 I'm going to specify this is the first detail object I would say detail 1 and I'm going to add sorry detail 1 I'm going to create a detail another as object as detail 2 and id as 2 and here parts 2 I'm going to pass now details we can add these two detail object in this list detail 1 and detail 2 now we are going to uh, extract all details information uh, all, all 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 parts information from detail objects so here what I will do here uh, details in this details list of details we can call a stream method a stream then we have a flat map this function I'm going to use flat map and here I'm going to specify detail and you can specify lambda expression and here detail dot you can say get parts right and again you can call a stream so this will return to the stream and here so flat map stream you can you can say and you can iterate flat map 
a stream like this using for each loop so here you will have to apply and if I run it then you can see the output so look at all parts are extracted from the details object which is the inner uh, bean or you can say inner, inner parts of the detail so part 1, part 2, part 3 right which has been added in the parts 1 which is the part of the detail 1 object right and now get part 1, part 2, part 3, part 4 these, these are the parts of the details 2 object right so a uh, little explanation about this code in this example basically so if you have a uh, if if you have a stream where every element con contains its own sequence of elements and you want to create a stream of these inner elements you should use the flat map method now in this code basically in this code in this example we have a list of elements of type detail right uh, the detail class contains a field is called parts if you look into the detail class field will call parts which is the list of a stream uh, with the help of fl a flat map method every elements from field parts will be extracted and added to the new resulting stream which we have done over here right so every parts we have extracted from uh, the details and we have populated into the separate stream right after that the initial stream that is nothing but the this stream will be lost so if you have a one class and that class contains list of uh, some other beans or you can list of any data type then if you want to extract all list from all objects and if you want to uh, populate in a separate stream then you can go for this api that is called flat map so that's the thing i wanted to explain you in this video tutorial i hope you enjoy learning this uh, concept and thanks for watching this video and see you in next video tutorial